Marty Works a project where I built a car over an eight year period and so I turned an East German Trabant into a uh, Chevrolet El Camino and so um, during that piece I, um, I wanted to try to become a part of a group of people that I would be the kind of least likely member and so um, I thought of becoming a car customizer and specifically someone a part of the kind of the low rider world and so um, as someone who didn't have a background in cars and um, isn't, wasn't mechanically inclined, uh, I thought that would be something where I could decide that I wanted to be a part of it, but that I'd have to earn my cred uh, to like genuinely be a part of it. And so I, um, I started apprenticing at body shops and um, morphing this car into another car, which it could never really be, and it was a real struggle to finish the car. I thought I'd finish it in six months. It took eight years, and I worked with a lot of really incredible people that taught me a lot of things, but it was really hard. <laughs> and also those relationships were often hard because I was asking a lot of people, and then also I, I didn't really fit in, but then, you know, I became like a... Um, you know, like the unwanted kid that you end up taking care of and, and suddenly figure out you kind of love, <laughs> even if they're a pain in your ass, you know? So that was the kind of member I think I became. Uh, I think what happened with the car also happened with me, which was that, you know, the car can never really be, an El Camino could only really always be in this, like, state of approach. And as this place where this really, like, new funky thing happened, where you get this Trabantamino, and I think the same thing happened with me, which is like, hey, I'm never going to be a car guy. You know, I'm not a guy. I'm a teacher. Um, but now I know a lot about cars. So I grew up in Arizona to immigrant parents. And, um, you know, cars have so much to do with identity, can have so much to do with identity for people. And it, they definitely have a lot to do with national identity. So, for example, with the East German Trabant and the El Camino, those two cars embody the values of the countries where they come from. Um, and so I thought that was a nice foil for um, what could happen to a person that's going from, for example, one country to another country or from one job to another job or is, um, is marginalized in any way and in making an effort to enter the mainstream. And so that was something that was interesting to me.